A longer than usual wait for the opening bell, and now here they go. He tries the left hook to luck and blocks it with his right glove and fires a couple more jabs. Body shot. And this could be dangerous for Canelo if he runs into a big shot by Canelo, the left hand because. And the more kind of mobile boxer. And now Canelo gets a jab in 13 to go in the round. In, in a disciplined, tactical fight early on. But with Canelo a little heavier on his front foot. That's exactly what he wants, Jim. He, this is playing right into Golovkin's favor, I believe. And now Golovkin tries around. Canelo has changed. Canelo didn't come out and start like this in the first round. Only fight. 10 seconds left in a tactical round. Golovkin. And everyone agreed Golovkin had to be more aggressive. So redness around Golovkin's right eye. Yes, from the hook. Good uppercut by Golovkin. Control the fight with the jab. Yes, he does. But oh, oh, oh not hard left hook by Canelo. Hardest punch of the fight so far. Been round two. Still a little heavier on that front foot than we might have expected. Good three punch combination. Good yep. three punch combination by Canelo. Canelo's getting loose. It's not that Golovkin can't box in the middle of the ring. It's why would he want? Question the old adage in boxing is don't hook with the hooker, Roy. Who's the hooker here? Canelo. By far, he's got a hook to the head. Right eye, Triple G. A good body shot. Canelo, or, or, or Triple G opens with the left hook. Ducks under another shot. Oh, good shot. Good body shot by Canelo. Knocks. He's the one backing up from Canelo this much, and Golovkin can't seem to do nothing about it yet. Body shot by Canelo. He continues to lead in that category. Good try by Canelo. Okay. Those numbers, as, just as in the first fight, coming from the jab. Guys, Canelo had success in the early, getting his shots in, plenty of them. But Canelo is the confident fighter in there right now. Now Triple G is letting his hands go more than in the first fight at this moment. And the jab is stairs, guys, fall. Roy, you wonder what effect it has on him psychically. You see him breathing hard already, Max. He's not really used to that happening to him. He's breathing very hard. Good for him. But you see the margin by which Triple G to be more effective for the long haul. Agreed. And it's something that Triple G, you have the round scored. While Triple G is winning the CompuBox numbers of the fight. <laughs> and now let's check in with our unofficial. Bello Alvarez, very, very close. Left hook lands for Triple G. Couple of Triple G lands his punches clean. They tend to be straight punches. Canelo's landing the crooked punches clean. Cut lands for Triple G. And good body shot by Canelo. Triple G's throwing more punches than Canelo, partially because Canelo's making him throw more punches with his forward press. Sustained momentum. He's not put his punches together. He has isolated moments, and then Canelo comes back and counters. Fourth round. Oh, good shot. Eight body shot by Canelo. And his body work, and he's still landing a stiff jackhammer jab. At ringside, and now we go to round five of the schedule 12. His left eye, I saw him working on in the corner. Triple G had the a cut, Roy Jones. Yeah, there's blood on his beard from that cut. I mean, Triple G, see, poor Jim, he's constantly stalking him like that. Triple G is not used to this type of a fight, trust me. He's been training for the knockout since his camp opened, and he is fighting like he trained for the knockout. Exactly, or hurt him. Now, Triple G looked like he's fading a little bit, Max. Good body shots. And it's all a matter of what do the judges want to look at as Triple G. He said he hopes Canelo brings it for the fans, for boxing. Canelo's... And Canelo's just going to get better because he's used to fight like this, Max. Good body shot with the left hand by Canelo. He's just... He's better off forcing the fight forward. He's not doing it. He's not winning the fight, and you're... Canelo wants to do. If Canelo wants to start, that's what Canelo does. Canelo is not throwing as many punches in this round. Let's look over the top for Golovkin. Defense too, Max. He pretty much blocking that body shot. Great right hand lands for Golovkin. Lands for both of them. Really? It ain't his fight, but though, it's Max. It's not his fight, that's exactly. That's exactly right. Winning the copy box. Canelo used to this fight. one of the first rounds in which Canelo... Canelo getting warmed up and used to the contact and egging Canelo on. One the first six rounds of the fight. Okay, Jim. I got it three rounds apiece. I got it all even. 57, 57. Very... Many more jabs and land more jabs than Canelo. Canelo continues to throw. It's not enough to win the story of the fight, Roy. After all, he's... Can up ...and had his way when he wanted. This type of fight, he's forced an issue and had his way when he wants it. There's no way they're going to give Triple G. Very dangerous, because Triple G can land one ending shot at any time. 
clearly to this point and sustaining his power. Force of the fight. Hard jab by Canelo Alvarez. Canelo willing to take one from the block. The fighter says he's going to do something and go coming for you tonight and then able to nobody else can do about it. But he is hooked. Uppercut all for Canelo Golovkin to open up and take more risks and throw more hard shots in the second half. They're going to give a Triple G that decision. What is happening in this fight that I see is that Canelo trusts his beard. He believes he can take Triple G shots come the hunter. The stalker. Hard right hand by Canelo Alvarez. The round. Better believe it. Hard right hand for Golovkin. All right now. He's landing the punishing shots too. Right, for the most part, they're both landing punishing shots. But Canelo is the guy you'd rather beat. Looks to me like Golovkin's going to have to leave one of those iconic images for us in order to win that fight. Now, and you know, you, well, you might not, but in boxing, it takes... Or he's never fought a fighter with the kind of chin that Canelo Alvarez brings. You take nothing away from tripping against Daniel Jacobs when it appeared maybe he was starting... G missing with the right hand. Hard left hook for Canelo Alvarez. Triple G taking his head. But Triple G may be landing go, more. Huh? Two. Hard right, right hand for Golovkin. He needed that punch. Harold Letterman now has Golovkin sneaking ahead on his scorecard by a point. I'm surprised by that. Like uh, Triple G had control of the fight. And again, Canelo comes back with his counter shots. Lands a right hand over the top. Triple G comes right back. His jab. The counter puncher became the stalker. The banger became the boxer. And Canelo takes a moment on down. Somebody's going to produce a late round burst. In the first fight, it was career. And restore the legend. Only a few more rounds to see. Good body shot. Back with his own right hand. To Alvarez rounds. See, those triple G shots are starting to move Canelo a little more than they did. Even it's the three Golovkin. But if any of the judges had it the, the opposite way, I wouldn't argue. Because each round is close. I've got it 6-3, to three, Gennady Golovkin. Andre Great. Ward against Sergey Kovalev. A great fighter, closed the show, and knocked his guy out. I think this is so difficult to fight the score. I could very easily see a judge having Can Canelo standing still and momentarily in trouble. Let's see if Triple G still has the magic. That was the most hurt Canelo has been in any moment against Gennady Golovkin. But it only lasted a few seconds. And now Canelo's back on the attack. Body shot by Canelo. So Triple much the story of the fight. Triple G. The trouble for Canelo is that when judges score this round. Knockout upstairs meantime. Good hook by Triple G. Great hook. to change your fate. It looked early like Canelo was putting in the body work, fighting his type of fight. Triple G was sucking air and being rocked. Head in the fight. And just as you know that Harold Letterman out on a pitch in boxing. Meantime, the first fight was great. This one's been better. And for the first time, Triple G is only used to guys crumbling when he hits them the way he's hit Canelo. And here Canelo is throwing back. Oh. Triple G making contact again. Landing power shot. This for the 11th round. Yes, it is. His career needs a win. How is Canelo coming? 40 seconds left in the round. Alvarez needs a rally. And limit Alvarez to one shot at a time. And there's a hard left hook for Triple G. And a hard right uppercut by Alvarez. Alvarez is... Another good right hand. Oh, gonna have to take that Another right good hand right hand. From Alvarez. Alvarez keeps three more punches by CompuBox count than Canelo did in that round. And here he comes oh. again. Hard left hook by Golovkin. Dad lands for Golovkin. Over the second half of this fight, Triple G has landed big power shots up stints in these last three rounds. You, you, you can't say enough about it. He looked like an old fighter halfway through this fight. Golovkin throwing and throwing. Alvarez lands power shots and down the stretch they come. Less than a minute to go. Who has the last rally? Golovkin landing power shots. Being mid busy in the center of the ring is what both feet. Ten seconds to go. Uppercut for Golovkin. The last shot. 
Golovkin with a right hand. And it's over. A new WBC, WBA, IBO Ring Magazine middleweight champion.